Hello and welcome to another Beehive 101. In this video, I'm going to cover comments. This is a new feature that we're releasing to our launch, grow, and scale plans, all three of them. And I'm very excited to, to just jump right in and show you how they work. So if we go to, I'm going to start by showing you what the comments experience looks like from the user side, and then we'll jump into some of the how-to in terms of setup and monitoring for the creator side. So if we jump into this post, which I've created ahead of time, we'll see that this is the comment experience at the bottom of a post. So we just have some kind of placeholder content here. And at the bottom, people will have the option to join the conversation. If I type a comment like, hello world, you'll see that I will be prompted to log in order to participate. So from here, I'm going to log in and we'll see what it looks like once the user is logged in. So now you can see that I've logged in. It now says that it takes away the login or subscribe notification here and it allows me to post. So if I want to say, hello world, I can post. Because this is my first time posting for this publication, it's gonna ask me for my first name and last name and I'm gonna hit submit. And now I have this comment here. This email address that I used for the signup is associated with Gravatar. Gravatar is a digital online place or way for you to list your profile picture in a way that can be pulled in across a wide variety of tools. We'll have a link to Gravatar to set up your avatar or your profile picture that way. But if a user's email does have a Gravatar, it'll automatically pull their profile picture in there. So now you can see that I have left a comment. It has a little timestamp. And then as the author of the comment, I can delete it. I can reply to my own comment. If I was a different user, I could reply to the comment. Perfect. So we can see that um, from here, you have this kind of nested comment action. And if I come back, I can see that there are responses below here. You can see the timestamp of when they occurred and so forth. So this is going to be the basic interaction of users with comments on the front end. As an administrator, or as the owner of the newsletter, what you'll be able to do is from the dashboard, if I go to here and go to my posts and then click on the latest post, and this is the one where I was leaving the comments, I'll be able to see any comments that were left as well as replies to those comments. And then I can also comment as the moderator. Play nicely here, kids. So if I comment that, I can leave my own comment. And I can actually also remove comments here if it's something that's not great. I can choose to disable or lock comments, very common behaviors up here. If something gets out of hand, you can disable them completely. You can choose to disable them on a one by one basis or so forth. We can do that. And then, yeah, this is the basic interaction of this screen. Now I've logged in as a different user. And so when I log in as this separate user, I can now leave my own comment. I can also now report comments from other users if those comments are inappropriate or abusive or obscene or, or offend sensibilities. We can go through and report. So I'm going to go through and hit the report button. I don't think this comment is appropriate. Cool. And I'm going to report it. We've gone through the different actions that users can take. They can reply to, they can engage with the comments. They can reply to other users, they can reply to themselves, and they can report other comments. As a moderator, you can also leave comments that will be seen by all the users, and then users can also reply to your moderator contents. And all the moderator con means is that you're an admin of the publication. Now that we have this part, kind of the front end, out of the way, let's take a look at what it looks like on the back end. The new addition here is this comment reports where you can see that somebody has reported this comment and you'll be able to see the history of the different reports. Maybe it's just somebody disagrees and they're reporting it and it may not have much merit, but if you have something where, you know, dozens of users have reported a content or a, a, sorry, a comment, you may want to take action to do something. What you can do is go here and take action. And <clears throat> we have a couple built-in Actions here, you can ignore the report, which is just going to let it sit and not do anything. You can remove the comment, and then you can ban the subscriber from commenting in entirely and just take away their commenting privileges. And then once, you, while you're doing this, you can also leave a note that may be useful for other admins that once the matter has been resolved, you may want to record and just describe the situation that led you to 
take the action that you did, we're going to go through and let's do the remove content. This comment was reported and I didn't like the tone. So we removed, removed it. We'll say remove content comment. Perfect. That's going to do that. If we refresh, it's been resolved. And then if we come in over here in the comments, it's no longer going to show. It's going to say revealed by removed by moderator. Of course, we can see it, but the users on the front end aren't going to be able to see it. If we go here, they're not going to show up. They're not going to be able to be seen. So that is that. And if you click on here, you'll be able to see the reports still. You can see what the users said. Great. That really covers the functionality of comments. If you have any questions or if you have concerns with how something's working, please let us know. But we're really excited to, to be presenting this to everyone. It's a great addition for engagement, creates a community, and you know, can, can definitely help the quality of the publication. Can't wait to see what you do with this. Have a great day.